Hey guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Chef, our little restaurant tycoon game here. We're getting off to a uh, pretty fast, like things are growing really fast. And I've decided to make a dessert for our upcoming high-end guests. And so far I've come up with this. It took a little bit of trial and error getting these mixtures just right to figure out where the optimal setup is for this. But this ends up getting me to 104. This is the charberry pie. Uh, so in order to get the dessert and the pies and stuff, you have to use 100 grams or more of flour. And it turns out 100 grams exactly is pretty much where I want to be. Uh, we have fat tagged ingredients, at least 20 grams or more. If I go to 20 on this, it drops the rating. No, it doesn't anymore. Never mind. But if I go to 19, it, it, it won't allow me to do it. So I have to have at least 20. So that's what we're gonna rock with is exactly 20. Now, this is considered really sweet and there's like this exclamation point thing right here. So I popped in some peanuts thinking I could maybe offset that sweetness, but it turns out like it will bring it down, but it won't bring it down enough. And then I also added some salt to try to do it, but that just makes it worse if you go up any higher. So um, it, we can actually get to 105 here it looks like, yeah actually get to 105 and then that I think that's gonna do it for this pie so this is our, there's a little bit of peanuts in it but it basically it's a strawberry banana uh, pie basically strawberry bananas and chocolate God, those things together sound delicious don't they so uh, this is our and we got a little bit of red wine in here too now I didn't add enough red wine to get the alcohol tag but if I try to just enough to get the alcohol tag we end up with 101 which isn't that bad? It just drops the rating a little bit, makes it cost a little more, but it gets the alcohol tag, which I'm not sure if it's a good thing or not to have the alcohol tag. I, I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing because it doesn't actually show up here, so I, I'm not sure if that's what I want or not. Uh, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it down to where we get to 105 again, but uh, I, I might look to change that. So this is 200. Sorry. It's, yeah, it's 205 cents. It's $2.05. Over 1,100 calories for the charberry pie. Uh, looks like it takes less than a minute. Unless I'm wrong on this and it's actually 28 minutes, but I'm pretty sure that's like 28 seconds. So it's, it's pretty quick too. So we're gonna save this. This is the charberry pie. Come on over to the menu and let's pop in the pie. There we go, it's the desserts. So I'm gonna remove this apple cream pie it has basically all the same things, except uh, we don't have dairy for this one. So this one's gonna go. This, the rating's starting to slag anyway. Now, this one is $2.05, and that's our cost. I'm gonna bump this up to seven bucks, and we're gonna see if we can sell that one instead. Um, we also have the chocolate chip cookies here, which would be kind of interesting. I kind of wanna make some cookies, but maybe we'll get that later. We have some side dishes. We don't have great side dishes, just the jacked potato for side dishes. Probably want to look into that, but I was really focused on the soups and the main courses because those are the things I care about when I go out to a restaurant is really the main course and the soup. Uh, and the, I guess I do pay attention to the salad as well. Maybe we can look at the salad. You know what? Let's make a, like, let's make a salad today. I don't have anything as far as... We'll make a chicken salad today. Um, we do have a meat option here, and we do have a seafood option already, but we're going to replace this meat option. So let's dump this turkey, this bad turkey salad, and we're going to make our own salad right now. So this is a salad, and I don't know, we're going to, it's going to be filled with meat and stuff, but whatever, this is fine. We don't even have cucumbers. <laughs> let's get the, uh, yeah, yeah, these, let's get these. All right, and on the salad, uh, is there any names that work for salads, let's say? Um, you know, I don't see any names... Uh, off the top of my, from what I can tell, I don't see any names that you guys have sent that work well with salad, really. Uh, oh, well, actually, wait, there's this one. Uh, I, I do see one. It's Nature's Bounty Bowl. Now, I don't know if that's actually meant for salads. That might be meant for something else. But I think I'm going to use the Nature's Bounty Bowl on our chicken salad. I think that's where I'm going to go with this. So this is for, this is for chicken salad. And uh, the first thing we're going to want is lettuce. That's our, that's our pretty much main ingredient for a salad, of course. Uh, we are going to be required to have vegetable tagged ingredients in quantity of 60 grams or higher. That will be no problem at all. We'll add a little bit of celery. We're going to add some carrots. I'm going to put in some uh yeah you know what we can put in some of these little cherry tomato things and then uh we're definitely gonna want some chicken and i'm gonna put chicken uh number two on this uh okay so how do we get this to be really good um it doesn't look like we're gonna be like we're gonna have to put a lot more stuff in this to make it really good 
this is not having a very good rating at all. It's not very salty. We can fix that. <laughs> we can fix that. Pop in the salt. That's going to bump it up a little bit, right? Just a little bit extra salt there. Look at that. Bam. Perfect. Lots of flavor going in. Awesome. Um, Like, we don't have any, uh, like, dressings and stuff, right? Like, we kind of have to make our own dressing sort of thing. But uh, if I was to add a little bit of black pepper to that, that's probably going to help. We can put a little... Does basil go in salads? I don't think I've have basil in a salad right I don't think so peanuts in a salad I've seen that before but I don't know if it really works real well raspberries work pretty well usually but that actually takes the rating down oh I love raspberries in my salad though apple slices yeah those work better I guess okay a apple slices people like those better uh okay so salt is up black pepper is maybe a little bit strong looks like it's actually fine uh celery can come I guess down Carrots can come down, but now we don't have enough vegetables. We'll pop in a little onion, I guess, and maybe a little, maybe a few peppers. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're getting the flavor that everybody likes. 102 on this. Okay, it's just vegetables and healthy. It's not considered, it's not for vegetarians and it's not for vegans because there's chicken in it. And that's okay with me. That's actually oh, completely okay with me. We're gonna take down the amount of chicken though, because it's actually quite expensive compared to the other ingredients. And um, black pepper can probably come down a little bit doesn't seem to be having any effect at all if I can remove it okay well it's necessary to keep that rating but we don't really need a whole lot of it so just a tiny bit of black pepper will do where is it with the black pepper go right here just a tiny bit of black pepper will do it's enough to kick it up peppers we don't need to be really big on that onions can come down we get 103 apples looks like that can come I do want the fruit tag though definitely do and uh, yeah, salt doesn't really have that much of an effect, so we'll come down until right about there, I guess. And if I bring the lettuce up, that will... I, I kind of need the lettuce, though. 60 grams, 60 grams or more on vegetable tags. So, like, we're going to have to go 60 grams of lettuce. That brings us to exactly 100. I don't know of anything else I want to put in here. I mean, breadcrumbs probably don't... That doesn't work in a salad, no want that uh i mean i don't know if peanuts really work in a salad these are like cracked peanuts too yeah i don't think so i didn't i didn't think so i i would have a salad with raspberries i totally would what about strawberries would, would that work for it uh it appears not so it's just apples really which i mean that does make sense i i, I definitely have apples in my salad so um i'm not gonna mix chicken and fish Oh, a little bit of cheese, maybe, yeah. Uh, how about uh, a little Parmesan? Oh, come on, I would totally do it. 98, so that actually takes it down. Really? Parmesan cheese on your salad, really? Oh, what about egg? Now, I would slice it up in like little egg slices, you know, like a hard boiled egg, but this is probably not looking like that. Um, I bet if I add margarine, it probably does like really good, right? I bet it just kicks it up into the next level. No, it gives us 102, 103, but it's not really that big of a deal, so. All right, this is gonna be Nature's Bounty Bowl then, for now, this will be it. And then, I think we can improve the rating here uh, by making higher quality chicken. We have a three-star chicken if we want to, but we could also just generally improve the quality of all the rest of the ingredients too, like carrots, for example, or cherry tomatoes, lettuce, just have better quality lettuce. So why don't we actually do that? We could probably do better quality lettuce. We have two ingredient points. Is that how I wanna spend my ingredient points though? Eh. better quality salt i don't know uh save that's yeah, so that's going to be 100 rating just under the five hats but we get vegetables fruit and a healthy tag on a new salad it does not have meat as its primary tag like it's not it doesn't have like meat as its main thing um i'd have to add a lot more meat to the salad to make it get that rating um so for now this is not a meat salad but if I take and go into uh, salads, we have nature's bounty bowl. There it is. And that will replace the other one we had. So there was no meat salad right now, which is a little bit eh for me because I actually do like, like chicken salad. But it's only 85 cents to cost. We're going to try and get four bucks out of it. Okay, uh, let's see. For the points, does anybody have any points we can spend aside from moi? Just moi? Okay just me steamed fish we might want to look at steaming that steaming vegetables and stuff too because those are always pretty good uh we can get a little better on salad skills 
steamed vegetables. Yeah, I think I kind of want to look into that. We have maxed out this. So actually main course cooking, why don't we pop both of our points into that for now? And that's going to reduce the cooking times and it's gonna also reduce preparation times by 20% for all recipes in the menu selection that are that are main courses. So all of our main courses get faster to cook now because of that, which is great. Um, I did not, well, I have like you know, level one pie, but I would like to get, oh, also look, level two skill. Some editor perks will be available in the recipe editor for this template, allowing you to further increase the recipe's final rating. I wonder what that is. Like what, what additional things are they gonna give me? Uh, and then ingredients panel, I think maybe we improve some of the things that uh, we already have to level two salmon. We could look at maybe getting, look, I have level three beef and stuff already unlocked as well. I think I'm going to look maybe to unlock like things like uh, that are more common for more dishes and not just, you know, a certain type of dish which I think right now is honestly like salt. I think salt and maybe margarine are are that. It doesn't look like I have the ability to alter margarine. Wait, is it over in the other section? Yeah, it's like the other butter. <laughs> um, I forget what I was really going to go after here. Maybe a slightly better wine because we're getting get upper class people, right? We're gonna want better fish too. Maybe we get some different types of fish. You know, lobsters, pretty good. I mean, lobsters used to be working class food. The man ruined everything as usual. <laughs> oh my God, really? <laughs> um, you have sturgeon, long lived, late maturing fishes, right? Squid. Mm, the most juicy escaping mechanism in nature. Ah, uh, I don't know which one I want. Like, maybe crab. Did you know that crabs can main themselves if necessary for their survival? It's so brutal. Main themselves? I think it's a typo, right? Isn't it called... Isn't it maim? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like lobster, crab, I don't know. Like, I feel like we really need to go down the seafood category, though. So why don't I take these two points and we'll go ahead and get, goodness, I don't know. Like, I don't think it really matters. I've never seen a scorpion fish before, sturgeon. I think maybe I'll just go cod, level two cod. It's a very popular fish. I don't think it's as expensive as some of the other ones too. Let's just get a better cod. We can always do like a, like a fish salad with cod as well. Okay, let's see how we did today. I'm pretty sure, I think we lost money today, but like not by much, really. Like we have, we actually have money in the bank and I, 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 you know, I built a whole bunch of extra tables and stuff too. So like at the end of the day, I think we're making money now, guys. This is, uh, this is pretty, pretty nice actually. All right, let's take a look and see. If we uh, go all the way to the end of the day, it's 12.30 a.m. And I think everybody's out now, so it's just about whether or not the game's gonna give it the score. There it is. So it says we lost a thousand, but that's with additional expenditures, furniture and tools, right? And look at this, if we don't have this expenditure, we are profitable. How about that, huh? If we don't buy new tables and don't hire new staff too, I think at that point we're profitable, which is pretty nice. Um, okay, so we're, we're still, we're, we're growing, right, popularity, but we lost a whole bunch because we, well, <laughs> we flipped out and went off all Gordon Ramsay on our staff, lost a little bit of popularity, I guess. What works for some doesn't work for the others. It says it's design week. The city is full of events which famous designers and companies show their creations. Expect more workers and tourists, but also expect them to have higher expectations when it comes to your restaurant's furnishings. Pause. Okay, workers? I mean, I kinda gotta get rid of the rustic, don't I? At this point, I think I wanna get rid of the rustic. Yeah, upper class tourists, I want the upper class. Rustic, they're not into, I think I can ditch the rustic now, right? Like if I, if I bring it down, now they won't come in, right? But now all we're getting is cheapskates. So we need to replace them, right? So. Um, what I want to get, right, are upper class families. They like elegant. We can do that, right? We have, uh, I think it's this. 
Yeah, this is pretty elegant, right? We can put this in here. That gives us three points of elegance, right? Upper class families, upper class tourists. Upper class tourists aren't really all that into the elegant. I wonder if the tourists are into modern. They might be into modern instead. Upper class, uh, let's see, modern. So upper class families don't like modern. But upper class tourists really like modern. Oh, frick. <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to go full on elegance then. Because at least the upper class tourists, uh, at least they uh, get like half credit for elegance. So, but elegance is the really expensive stuff too. It, it takes like a lot of, it takes like a lot of money to furnish the place with elegance. Uh, I don't want like this is five fifty for five points. It's better to spend. It's better to to place like additional mirrors and stuff than it is to place those because of the, the, the dollar value you get for the point value that you get for this. So we can just kind of do one of these numbers. And there. So now we're going to get lower class families back. We still don't have the upper class family, but we got to be getting close because they got a, like really high on 17 points on the elegance there. Um, and we're getting the food enthusiasts back, but we're not getting the vegans because they really don't like elegant. And the vegetarians really don't like elegant either, which I feel like I don't care. Like I almost don't care. I just want upper class people to come in here and spend a lot of money on my really good food. But I don't know if that's really the way to go, because, like, what if they don't like my food? <laughs> what if they come in and they're just like, yeah, I mean, your ambience is great, but your food sucks, man. Which is like a total possibility. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to get lower class tourists now. Still not getting the upper class tourists, because they like modern, I guess. Um, yeah. And the cheapskates really don't like elegant, so we're actually... I wonder if we are getting to the point where we may not... Where's the people? It's uh, at character leveling. Chef advisor? Is it this? No, no. I'm looking for... Shoot, where is it? I think it's... Maybe it's stats. Okay, people. High budget families. They got the $4 signs. When they spend some good money when they go to a restaurant, they will order a lot of different things and spend a lot of time and money in your place. You better have a nice place, professional waiters, and a big menu if you wish to satisfy them. Yeah, because they want a lot of different things, right? Yeah, lower budget families are probably easier to please. They like carbs and meat. So when we are drawing those guys in right now, right? Lower, lower income families, we are, we are drawing those in. So hopefully that becomes like our main people that we attract today are going to be lower class families, I think. I'm hoping because... I spent a lot of money on ambiance today. I'm in the hole by $2,000 right now because of all the stuff I just bought, which I don't think was necessary to get this extra one. I don't think it's necessary, but we're going to we're gonna leave it for now and we're going to see what happens. So I'm hoping that we move people quickly. They order a lot of really great food and they all enjoy their time. Oh, hang on. We already have a random event. What is this? My food has been overcooked. Now it's not even edible. Replace the order. Okay, so there was a thing, right, where we were talking about, and this was in the comments, right, where I said, this will actually decrease my money by 50. This is not 50%. As far as I'm aware, this is actually 50, right, which sucks. Tell your people to apologize. Morale goes down by 25. I can kind of afford that for some people, but I can't afford that for everybody. Or I ignore the issue and my popularity drops by 10. I can't have that either right now. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna hit this. It's gonna drop my money by 50. And it's not 50%, it's like literally gonna be 50, which is kind of stupid since replacing this order doesn't t cost anywhere near 50. It's really dumb. So there you go. We actually spent $50 there, which, is, which really sucks. Like these random events, they don't really, they don't really do it for me. Like I don't, I don't like the way they've implemented them because the penalties for them are so much, so harsh. And the positives that you get when a good one happens are almost negligible. Like the positives really don't matter at all. And the penalties, and you can't really necessarily decide. Like there's nothing I could do to prevent the overcook. I don't think, unless I'm just, maybe it's the amount of cooking slots on this fridge, the stove, seven out of 10. Grill slots are all, maybe the oven. I don't know, like what's gonna, how many things are we prepping in this? We might be maxing out the stoves. I mean, I'll keep an eye on the cooker. 
6 out of 10 on the grill. There we go. 3 out of 10. Oven is going in. With three chefs in the kitchen now, though, I, I really hope that this is... Like, we have enough staff for this, right? I'm really hoping that we can make this a really good, profitable day. But I, I feel like I'm also going to have to add like another cooker to this kitchen. Because this is... I mean, it's 6 out of 10 isn't bad, but... I feel like there might be times where we're bottlenecked, so I have to keep an eye on that. Preparation-wise, I don't I don't suspect any issues in the in the hall today, as far as like um, wait waiting times, um, it, unless I have to buy new tables, which is always a thing. But I don't expect that that's going to be a huge issue because I have a lot of wait staff today. Three ingredient points, three ingredient points, and I am going to put it into. Maybe. Hmm. Let's get, let's get a level two carrots, and let's get level two on. Uh, I don't really use peppers as much as I would necessarily like to. I already have level two broccoli. Maybe do we use different mushrooms? I don't really use mushrooms. I can't, I can't spend the point on onions because it needs two points for that. I only have one point. If I'm going to buy anything, it needs to be... What about yogurt? Rich in proteins and vitamins. Mozzarella cheese. Ricotta cheese. Ooh, blue cheese. <laughs> Sheep cheese. I think ricotta. Mozzarella. You know, let's get some mozzarella. I like mozzarella. I'm like, I'm like unlocking things based on what I like instead of what, the, what would be good for my meals in the game. Look at how many reviews we've had. 36 new reviews. Most of them are good, but only 58% of people have given us five stars. Just okay. This is a cheapskate. We're going to kind of go away from the cheapskates. And if the cheapskates think my prices are good, then they're probably not good. So let's go to the menu really quick. And we're just going to... I'm just gonna kind of do this real quick. See what uh, see what happens here. They'll probably complain. If the cheapskates complain about the prices, that's okay. Char fries, four dollars. Okay. If they again, if the cheapskates are complaining about the price, that's fine. Um, I'm not I'm not concerned about it. There's potential hidden somewhere. The city is full of restaurants, and this one didn't give me a good reason to visit it again. Let's start with the fact that the decor was nice enough, and I couldn't ask for better waiters, but to be honest, the prices definitely need to be lower. Cheapskate. I'm not really concerned about it. Because later on, like, the families and stuff aren't going to care. They're going to be like, well, shoot. You know? Like, the cheapskates will be like, oh, man, I don't want to go here anymore. But the thing is, like, if the cheapskates are occupying all my tables and there's higher paying customers waiting outside, that's like, that's a bad thing, right? Like, I don't want people who are not going to pay the fair value for my food to be taking up every single slot in my, in my restaurant. And right now, we do have some food enthusiasts. They are ordering great steak and potatoes, charged chicken noodle, and the charberry pie. There it is. Get that charberry pie and the discount cola. Beautiful. Get that charberry pie. Oh, are you gonna like it? I gotta see. Are you all are you all food enthusiasts? Oh, you all are. Oh, jack potato. That's bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, you probably it's probably because of the jack potato. I'm sorry. It's definitely not the charberry pie. The charberry pie was excellent. You can tell me. I, I it's okay. I just really want them to like me because like the enthusiasts are really high paying customers as well. Um, not the highest, which you really want are these guys, the legendary people willing to spend a lot of money if the if the quality is high enough, which right now it's not. Beatrice, the waiter, let's get you on that skill. And then actually let's make sure everybody is kind of faster at doing the basic stuff. Uh, you're pretty good actually, Josefa, you're pretty good. Um, with your, I think I'm gonna wait on your one point and we're gonna get you um, fitness level three next. All right, let's let the clock run. I can't imagine I make enough money to get out of the to get out of the red here today. But I mean, it's possible, I guess. If we can start moving people through here, I don't. I don't know. Like, I wonder if we're gonna make enough money to not be in debt from all the tables I just, all the decor that I just bought. You know, I feel like I bought too much decor 
too quickly and then I won't recuperate, but we're about to get dinner rush. So let's hope that this, let's hope that it, uh, well, let's hope it stays busy, really. Um, with the prices being as high as they are, I wonder if anybody who's not a cheapskater complaining about the prices. Um, so price isn't that great. Flawless service, cheapskate, cheapskate, cheapskate. Food was decent, cheapskate. Lower class family. Okay, well the place could really use some better furniture. Everything else was fine. Most courses have low prices and this place is awesome staff. Okay, well I, I mean, I raised my prices, so that's good. Food enthusiast. A little more and it could be legendary. If you were thinking about eating here, let me tell you a few things about this place. This place needed needs improvements because the restaurant was quite ugly to see and their jack potato wasn't that good. I, I knew it, I told you it was the jack potato. At least I didn't expect the food to be that cheap and the staff was great. I didn't expect the food to be that cheap. Good. So a lot of the food enthusiasts are really happy with our prices. That's good. And so are the lower class families. Okay, great. Awesome. Atmosphere is not great for the lower class tourists. So like, I just have to spend money on the atmosphere, right? Like that's something I just have to spend the money on and I just don't have the money to spend. So I'm kind of like really trying to maybe just don't spend money for a bit and just let it accumulate. Cause I'm kind of thinking, and I might be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure if I don't buy anything, I'm pretty sure if I don't buy anything, my income outweighs my expenses per day. But I, I have to, in order to know that I have to wait and see. Um, Cora's about to flip, which is bad. Um, do I really need a fourth chef right now? God, I feel like I do. I feel, I feel like I do. Um, James, get in here, I guess. We gotta alleviate this. That's unfortunate, because that's really expensive, but James is gonna take over. Or James is gonna come in here with uh, decent fitness. And he's gonna be really great at main course. Uh, let's get you on desserts too, okay. Ava is a chef as well, or Aya, sorry. Aya chef, and go to side dish cooking, I guess. And then we'll get you on one, I'll just get you there, instead of waiting for your point. Cora as a chef, uh, I'm gonna wait, because you're almost about, you're up, ready to flip out. I'm gonna wait and get you on level three on fitness. But hopefully with a fourth chef in the kitchen, this will help. The problem is though, I think there's not enough prep tables now. There are people waiting around because there's not enough prep tables. Um, so now I need to get, I can do two things. I can either get, okay, here, here's what we're gonna do. So the prep table, main kitchen tools. We have this prep table, which is one area, one prep area, but this one is two prep areas and it costs more than double. But the thing is, this is the same size. And so I can, the smaller kitchen, I can fit it in there, right? And there's no, like there's no real, um, like maintenance cost for this kind of stuff. So what I could do is replace this one, for example, and just sell this one and then replace it with this one. And now we have two prep stations on this one table, which should hope, I should hope anyway, that all of the chefs can now use this yeah, they can, the two people can cook there at once and now all chefs can be working at the same time, which should speed up all orders. Like I sh I'm hoping that people can recover and it looks like they're working, but they're able to recover now, which is a really good sign. My wait staff, however, not so much. Um, they're actually, actually struggling there a little bit. Um, price isn't good, but he's a cheapskate. Price isn't great. Um, is anyone leaving really bad reviews? Good, eh, pretty average reviews. Service is always great, that's good. I just gotta make sure that my wait staff don't flip out like Josefa here. Can you take a break? I just don't want people to, f I don't want you to flip out, dude. Don't freak out, it's gonna be fine. Just take a break, we got this. Okay, go. <laughs> Never mind. we don't have this. Everyone else is starting to flip out now because of that. Oh my gosh, I think we, I, guys, I think we're good here. Your avatar's morale got to zero. Again? I lose some popularity. Again? What? How do I stop this? I, there's no, I mean, I feel like there's just, do I just have to go sleepy sleep the whole time? But then my other guys are gonna freak out. I, I think I need another, I need a bigger kitchen. Wow. I think I do. Which I don't, have, I don't have the money for that, but yeah. 
I think I, I don't have the money not to because I'm losing popularity all the time because of this. My avatar is just dropping to zero here. So I think I need to add another cooker because we're going to have too many chefs in here and we're going to be doing things. Uh, I think I'm going to add another cooker here. Probably we'll go... I don't really want to go on this side, but I guess I will for now. 25 more maintenance costs, though. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if this is being bottlenecked, really. I think right what it is right now is... I just need another staff member, I think, is what it is right now. Let's add another prep station here. We'll get the upgraded one, so it's got two, two, uh, two stations. This one's kind of sticking out, but it's fine. Uh, and then I think... Not this oven. Cheaper Brothers, six slots, 30 maintenance. There was another one I thought. Another, uh, that's a grill, steamer. Uh, actually, that's for like steam vegetables if I wanna do steamed stuff. I don't even have a fryer yet, do I? Do I? I have the air fryer, right? Um, I was gonna add this dishwasher because it adds to general ambience. Ambience, but like I don't even, like this is, 35 maintenance. It's so expensive. Staff. I guess we're going to bring in more staff. Um, can I get a better chef? Yeah, he's got 15 points for like 15 extra dollars. Let's do that. I'll bring in an extra waiter too, I guess. I just, my staff are going crazy. I just need to make sure they don't. Because the morale is so important. I can't overwork people or they get just flip out. So um, let's get the points assigned. Uh, Ning, welcome in as a chef. Let's get your fitness all the way up. And then we'll get you on main course, uh, desserts, and let's get you on soup and appetizer and side dishes. Okay, good. And then Amada, waiter, fitness all the way up. Movement speed, pretty good. Let's get you greeting people and getting them in the door and making sure their order is taken. Okay, good. Anybody else? Flipping out, Cora. I'll spend your point. Whatever. I know I was gonna wait for fitness, but just I'm, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm just I'm flipping out. My character's flipping out. I'm flipping out. Let's do better pies. <laughs> Let's just do better pies, because we should totally do better pies. All right. With so many so many cooks in the kitchen now, I have to wonder if this is getting overdone. Like it's six out of ten right now, thankfully, but. I have to wonder if like this many cooks being required. Also, I'm noticing that this is facing the wrong direction. It's supposed to be this way. There we go. Whoops, that's not what I wanna do. Hmm. Come on guys, recover. Recover your morale. I, get, I got you more help though. Come on guys, I got you more help. Just take breaks. It's okay. You don't have to work yourself to the bone. I really don't know how we're gonna make money. I, I, I'm really worried about that. Like, how are we gonna make money? I guess if our staff morale can recover, like I'm resting right now, right? Totally need to rest because I'm dropping popularity big time. I need to rest, get myself back up, and like hopefully the fact that I got extra chefs will help me in resting all day. Basically just rest of the second half of the day. Pretty much. Oh, no customers. Let's see. All right. So, twenty-one. It's two thousand one hundred twenty dollars, which is basically how in the hole we were at the. But again, see this. This is what we lost. But we're actually bought a bunch. Of, like, we're still buying things. So I think I still believe we're profitable. We just have to stop spending money every day. Spending extra money every day. Get to a balance where my my staff are good. And everyone can just be like, yeah, we're okay here. And I think one thing we might want to try is not having everyone do everything, right? Let's have some people maybe specialize a little bit. So find staff members who are particularly good at something like, um, like, see, so you're really good at greeting people. Okay, that's good. Uh, you're not really all that good at delivering food necessarily, but you're really good at, 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 at greeting people. Uh, some uh, Somebody else may be really good at a job that you don't want to do like you're really good at greeting people maybe we have a mata go with greeting and taking orders but maybe they don't do maybe she doesn't do deliveries right so maybe a mata 
won't won't do delivery service. Maybe you'd be welcoming, checking out. You know what? Let's just get let's let's have you let's have you greeting people. Amada will be like like the greeter at the door, right? So people instantly can get in. We fill the tables faster. We get people in their chairs faster, right? And if we have one person doing that, I feel like that one person dedicated to doing only that is probably going to be good. Let's try that. Let's see if that helps with with like the morale situation here. And then the, the cooks as well, they're kind of trying to do everything. But some of these guys, right, they specialize in some things. So if I was to take... Aya here, she's really good at main courses. So I, I I wouldn't necessarily like it if say, for example, Cora made a main course for some food enthusiasts, they may not be as good. But if Aya does it, that's gonna be really good. So I think Cora, you're not gonna make main dishes, right? Cora doesn't make main dishes. Um, I think I might just disable myself because I gotta recover. Um, James also not the great at anything else. Like he's not that great of a chef right now. Uh, Ning is okay at main courses as well. So what if we have just just as a way of sort of getting people to recover? Cora, you're not doing main courses. You'll do everything else, but you won't do main courses. And I think James also not main courses. That way, main courses are taken care of by myself. Uh, Ning and Aya, we're the best cooks at main at main courses. And if we want those main courses to be really good, we're gonna make sure that the chefs that are specialized in those are the ones that are doing the job. So maybe that'll be the way we go about this. So let's see if that has any has any effect. And I also noticed a couple of instances where we had like one or two people sitting at a four person table. And that's just because we don't really have a whole lot of single two-seaters. And I know I just said not spend money, but this is important, okay? Uh, we're gonna go like this and like this. Yeah, that's it, okay? I spent $180 on furniture, that's it. But it potentially opens up, like it, it potentially declutters the place, right? So now we have a dedicated person at the door letting people in and we already have an event. What is wrong, dude? You didn't even order yet. There's this strange smell coming from the toilets. How can we eat like this? Offer a discount. A hundred dollars. Go away. Go away. There's just a strange smell coming from the toilets. Grow up. <laughs> Whatever. Like the random events, like a hundred dollars? I offered him a discount on nothing. He didn't order anything. He hadn't even ordered yet. Offer a hundred dollars discount well like paying him to leave no thank you get out of here all right we've got our we got our guy here right he's gonna be in charge he's the only one doing this too so he'll seat people and then he'll walk back and get ready to seat more people right where the other wait staff take care of everybody else he's gonna do that and hope maybe maybe like that running around bit all that time they're spending running around they're not resting maybe that will help us i'm hoping that that will help us I'm hoping <laughs> that, that will help us. And then the chefs, right? Some of these guys are going to make main courses. Other people aren't. And I wonder if that's going to lead to the main course people getting really, really tired. So I have to watch that too. Um, but it would be nice if we get some extra experience points and I can start dumping them into main courses for everybody so that they can all share that responsibility. But uh, yeah. So anyway, I think I'm going to leave this video here. Pretty much like one day per video is kind of what we're doing. Uh, tomorrow will probably be two days because we're already halfway through. Well, we're not really halfway through. Every every business day is only 12 hours. So um, we're not necessarily halfway through this day. We're all just getting started. But I think I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Your comments and stuff are also very appreciated. The YouTube algorithm loves you. And so do I. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.